Holy fucking shit, this map changed a lot. Am I recording? Of course I'm recording. Fuck. <laughs> Hello everybody! I am the Lightning Tech and welcome back to another Supremacy 1914 roleplay game. That was rolling uh of yours. Anyways, um this is game 1389479. I still don't have a name for this game. Technically a roleplay, but it's turned into something weird. It's not necessarily a roleplay anymore. It's considered something something like a regular game? I don't fucking know. Uh in any case, let's just do our classical recap for the week. Uh as you can see, Greenland hasn't expanded much uh, after having taken Baffin. They're currently in defensive positions against uh, the Americas, and most likely Italy, because Italy's fucking huge. <laughs> Moving down uh, North America, we have the United States with its actual coalition. The U.S. actually formed a coalition, which is fucking awesome. Um, which is... Let me check the coalitions, actually. America United, uh, led by <laughs> led by Ronald Reagan, which is interesting because the Arab League is... Never fucking mind. Um, yeah, Ronald Reagan with 45 provinces, 3 members, and a score of 110. Uh, the 3 members are the theocratic dictatorship of Baffin, the Pacinian dictatorship. We got, uh, Ronald Reagan in the United States of America. America? Fuck yeah. Um, and the Confederated States of America, which is looking freaking sexy. Yeah, this episode's full of coalitions, folks. Um, the Confederated States haven't really expanded at all. Uh, Baffin seems to be reliant, seems to be completely connected to um, the other two members of the coalition, and the United States seems to have taken down and just swallowed the fuck out of <laughs> Ontario. I don't know what the hell they're going to do about uh, Greenland, because there seems to be some sort of Cold War-esque thing going on here. Uh, yeah, but moving further south, we have the another coalition, a coalition, coalition? <laughs> a coalition? Uh, of five players, this is the South American Federation, led by Major Gagger. Gagger, yeah. Uh, it's got five members. It's got uh, 124 provinces and a score of 339. It's got Colombia, Ecuador, Argentina, Piratini, and uh, Central. What's it called? Latin America? United States of Latin America or United Latin American Nations? Yeah, there we go. And they've succeeded in just completely splitting the entirety of the continent. And some of North America amongst themselves, which is fucking awesome to say the least. And have they thought? Have they done? No, never mind. Never fucking mind, folks. What is this? What? Weird as hell. Anyways, uh, moving into Africa, actually. South Africa has gone AI. Um, Namibia's AI. These guys, Ang Portuguese Angola, is still pretty fucked with two provinces having gotten taken out of their center, which is. Damn, that sucks. That really fucking sucks. Because all of your provinces are open to attack and invasion. But he's probably not acting. Probably. Um, see, German Tanzania... So, a thing happened here, folks. <laughs> Since the coalition's uh, system is now in use, there's another coalition called the Arab League, which is the main coalition of this game, with uh, six members, 174 provinces, and 405 um, in terms of game index score. And speaking of score, we're on day 32. I've got a cool looking tiny ass army. Look at that. Look at that. 2.45. Yo, I'll kill everybody in my life. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, the members of this coalition are, um, what's it called? Tanzania, Arabia, Hejaz, Greece for some, some odd reason. Um, Let's see, uh, Algeria, French Algeria, Persia, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So these six nations, they're uh, they're looking sexy, folks. That's pretty damn. Oh wait, is that what I think it is? That that's actually you can find on a. I've seen that flag on the internet like eighty times of like alternate history American flags. But uh, yeah, <laughs> aside from that. They, see, they seem to have expanded quite rapidly, and there are a few countries that aren't um, AI that have pretty much stayed the same. Yeah, uh, that's German, uh, not German, okay, that's weird. German Cameroon, there we go. Uh, these guys over here, Madagascar, French Madagascar, which is 
pretty much a pirate nation led by Elitist Beaver. The Elite Beaver. Uh, shout out to him and all his goons. And British Nigeria. I do think. Man, I can probably. Is he? Is he? He's active. All right, and French Equatorial Africa. Uh, these nations haven't joined any sort of coalition, but I. It sort of looks like they're in the perfect position to create their own coalition against the growing um, empire before them. Yeah, let's call it that. Uh, yeah, Italy, on the other hand, has just complete control of Europe, mainland Europe, right now, most of Europe. They've taken, pretty, they've shed on Italy, they've, sh well, they're already Italy. <laughs> they've shed on Spain, they've shed on France, they've uh, fucked up Austria and Germany, they've taken the Low Countries, and most recently, they've absorbed the entirety of the British Isles. So, uh, God, God knows, only God knows where they're, where they're gonna go next really intimidating and I'm pretty sure the Arab League uh, might be in danger or not I don't fucking know <laughs> I'm pretty sure but I don't know um, in any case we got Han Ozjan over here with the White Ruthenian Republic uh, Crimea kicking some freaking ass they've taken the southern three provinces of Sweden uh, Norway's expanded into Sweden as well and finally uh, Finland has expanded into Sweden I think these nations are oh okay that's, that's weird this guy is active, but hasn't done anything the entire of this game. I think he just got in. Uh, Jesus of Naz <laughs> Nazareth. <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, folks. Yeah, my weird accent. It's fucking crazy. Um, yeah, Persia's taking over uh, Pakistan over here. These guys were active. They were fighting Russian Kazakhstan, but now they're inactive too, so it's just a war of inactive. Persia. Persia? Persia, not Persia. Arabia is going into the remnants of Russian Turkestan. I don't think it has a capital in Russia, does it? Yeah, and that's that's all that's going on over there in the, in that side of the world. So now now to our side of the world, which is friggin' kicking some damn ass. Uh, we got we got Chinese Think Tang just with an active nation. Uh, let's see, nothing else is active aside from Japan, who is just beating everything ass. They've taken over the capital of, uh, what was it called? British India, and they've stopped fighting British India, interestingly enough, allowing for the Indians to, the AI to actually form their own capital. Are they still at war? No, they're not. So, yeah, that's, that's peaceful right there. Uh, further south, further south, we have a few inactives, and the thing that's going on here is that. Uh, my neighbor, what is bless his soul, <laughs> um, New Guinea, New Guinea, yeah, New Guinea, Dutch New Guinea, Dutch New Guinea, so, uh, right here, Dutch New Guinea is at war with Japan, and they, they tried to land on Wuzhou, they failed horribly, um, Japanese forces, destroyers, shit, they just bombarded the fuck out of them, they're done, uh, they retreated, and they lost half of the Philippines. So now they're starting to... Yeah, and then they lost the Linyu over here. And now they've begun retaking these territories and staging a counterattack. Unfortunately, I have good... good <laughs> I have good relations with both of these nations, so I can't really do anything here. Uh, I'm just being me over here, just taking the entirety of New Zealand. Where there's like 50k over here for no fucking reason. That's like landing in the ocean and swimming towards my battleship. It scares the crap out of me. I wonder what the hell's going on. Uh, I'm too scared to undo it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a nervous wreck these days. Um, and yeah. And then Australia has actually changed his flag, but he hasn't done anything else. So that's that's pretty much it for this game here. Um, again, we're on day 32, so there's a lot that could happen in the near future. I will probably get wrecked in this game. Considering the fact that I'm sort of isolating myself from people, which is a bad move. I don't fuck with that, honestly. So yeah, fear me. Fear Grand Marshal Turk. Fear of New Guinea. We will wreck. And yeah, uh, have a great day, guys. Peace.